Hello everyone, today I want to share you a universal complex that is going to help you loosen your face muscles. I'm glad to know that our channel is being popular not only among women but also men. And therefore today we have a male model. By the age of 20-25 years old, horizontal lines on your forehead are already formed or can be quite foreseeable due to active mimics. Male face has more exact chewing muscles and upper and lower jaws as women of the same age. Wings of your nose change the position more frequently than by women, which happens due to the shortening of lateral muscle. The volume of the middle part of your face decreases and your cheeks become flatter. In this complex we have the same goal as in any other video, to loosen some face muscles and to exercise others. Our model is ready. I mean, he's ready. Yes, I'm ready. So Alexandra is ready and first thing we're going to do, we're going to loosen the area of your neck. Relieve the tension from your trapezius muscle and loosen the muscles of your neck. For that, you should grab a big fold of tissue in your trapezius muscle and while moving your elbows up and down, you're going to roll the fold upward and repeat it five times. Now move on to massaging the back side of your neck. Grab a fold of tissue, including muscles, and press through it with one hand. And then with the other hand, three times on each side. After that, work through your neck, moving downwards in deep sliding motions which is going to improve your lymphatic and blood flow. Seems like it's going to be a very serious video today. I look very serious. Okay, let's move on. After we've loosened the trapezius muscle, we're going to move on to the back side of your head. Gently massage it moving upwards. Move the skin apart from the skull bones in all different directions. You know, I'm not really used to this kind of exercise. But they're very useful. Really? Well, let's hope they help. And how long should I do it for? Well, that's enough. And let's move on to your forehead. Tap the base of your palm between your eyebrows and move upwards, but in horizontal motions. You should be separating the skin from the forehead bone. Repeating this exercise two more times. Now move the base of your palm to the side, tap it deeply into the skin and continue. Now working on the other side. Wait, I'm not done with the third time yet. And now the other side. Moving on to the wrinkle between your eyebrows. 
Grab a fold in the area between your eyebrows and lift your eyebrows up using your forehead muscles. While you're doing that, the fold of tissue should slide away from your fingers. Repeat it three to five times. So you grab a fold of tissue and then you get very surprised. Exactly, you can get surprised five times. Is it that bad? See how surprised you should look? And now we're going to soften the forehead muscle. Am I doing it right? Yes, you should separate the skin apart from the forehead bone, moving in different directions. Can I do this? Yes, you can do this as well, any way possible. So the goal here is to really separate it from each other. Exactly, to get rid of fibrosis. Continue doing it for about a minute, I'm gonna make coffee meanwhile. Well, enjoy! And that's the way it's happening all the time. Some people are drinking coffee, some people are working. But usually we have it another way around. Oksana is working and Alexander is drinking coffee. It's just you don't see everything behind the screen. And now she just decided it's her turn. So while she's drinking coffee, I'm gonna tell you everything. Good job. Uh, good job. Should I stop? Since men have more exact eyebrow ridges and with age this effect just increases, eyebrows move down closing your eyes. So we are going to open up your eyes. Grab the beginning of your eyebrows with your fingers and press through it, moving till the middle of your eyebrow. And how many times? Three to four times. So three, four times. Three, four times moving till the middle of your eyebrow. After that, doing a pointing massage in the area under your eyebrows. With the fingers of one hand, lift your eyebrow up and with the pointing fingers of the other hand, work through the whole area under your eyebrow in point tapping motions. You should do this exercise three times. And now we're going to loosen the circular muscle of your eye. Place your fingers in the area of your temples, pulling the end of your eyebrow up. And softly tap through the circular eye muscle, loosening it. Don't go too far, just till the middle of your eye. I feel a little bit like a lab rat. Well, that's kind of what you are right now. You can already move to the other eye. I'm sorry, got distracted. You should be softly tapping. Ah, oh, yeah, right, you said softly. Just three to four times. Now massaging the area next to the wings of your nose and the wings of your nose themselves. Slowly moving upwards along the lateral muscle. Slowly moving back down 
this way elongating the lateral muscle. Since the middle part of male face is flatter, we are going to increase blood circulation in cheekbone muscles. Grab a fold of tissue on your cheekbone and gently press through the fold, moving towards the center of your face. Doing it softly and gently and moving backwards. A little slower. And move to the other side. Grab a fold of tissues, including muscles, and gently and slowly press through them. Is it okay that my eye looks like this? Yes, you should not be pulling on your skin. and moving on to the strongest muscles of your face, chewing muscles. When you experience a lot of pressure and stress, your chewing muscles are way more contracted, which can result in headaches. Therefore, it's crucial to loosen your chewing muscles as often as possible. So we're going to do a soft, gentle massage of chewing muscles, moving along the whole muscle. And after that, massage them in circular motions. First in one direction, then in the other. Do it softly and gently, but cover the whole area of your chewing muscles. So probably you should tap your fingers into the middle of your muscle, because I started in the place of their attachment. You already know the place of their attachment? Yeah, obviously. I mean, how long have we been filming that already? Obviously, I already know what is where. I know all the face muscles by heart. So are you gonna argue with me now? And one more exercise that you can do throughout the day. You should just slowly open and close your mouth as soon as you feel tension in your chewing muscles. Slowly open and close. Do it 10 times. You can do this complex two to three times a week. Comment below if you found this video useful. And which zones of your face are you particularly interested in? And we are going to film another video. Subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget clicking the bell to be the first one to see our newest video.